Good morning, Linda Lyons. This is Mrs. Warm at the Linda School Library. And today I'm going to share a book with you called Clifford's Fairy Tales, Clifford and the Beanstalk. Clifford was created by Norman Bridwell. This story was written by Daphne Pendergrass and illustrated by Ramey Simard. Hello, I'm Emily Elizabeth. And this is Clifford, my big red dog. Every night we cuddle up and my dad tells us a story. Dad loves making Clifford and me the stars of the story. Tonight we're reading Jack and the Beanstalk. There once was a young girl who went by the name of Jack. Jack didn't have very much money, but she did have a very big red dog named Clifford. One morning, Jack took Clifford to the market. They wanted to buy some sweets from the candy shop, but first they'd need to make some money. Jack and Clifford did their best tricks for a crowd of townspeople. Everyone clapped and tossed their coins in Jack's hat, until... Uh-oh. Clifford rolled onto a nearby farmer's booth and sent everything flying. Jack had to give the farmer all the money they had earned, and they had to help clean up the mess, too. It took the rest of the day, but the farmer was so thankful for Jack and Clifford's help that he gave them a reward. Three magic beans. Hmm, sound familiar? The farmer told them to plant the beans in the ground. So when they got home, Clifford dug a hole. Jack threw in the beans and watered them. But nothing happened, or so they thought. The next morning, Jack and Clifford awoke to find a huge beanstalk had grown overnight. It was so tall, they couldn't even see the top. Jack and Clifford wanted to see how high the beanstalk would go, so they decided to climb it. Jack jumped on Clifford's back, and they went up and up and up. I can see a bird over here. What are you doing in the air? You don't belong here. At the top of the beanstalk was a giant castle sitting on a fluffy cloud. Jack and Clifford knocked on the castle door, but no one answered. So they tiptoed through the giant door. Hmm, are you supposed to go in a door when nobody knocks? Or excuse me, when nobody answers? <laughs> I don't think so. Fum, fi, fo, fi. Who on earth could that be? Came a loud, deep voice. Jack was scared, so she dove behind the leg of a giant table. She was small enough to hide. But Clifford was not. They peeked out to see who was calling for them. It turned out... The castle was so giant because it belonged to giants. Jack and Clifford held their breaths, but the giants spotted them. Luckily, they liked Clifford. He fit right in. There were big toys and even a big doggy bed, all the perfect size for a big red dog like Clifford. See Emily's Elizabeth's face. Well, excuse me, Jack's face. They don't know quite what to think. The giants treated Clifford and Jack to a grand feast, and they showed them all the treasure they had. There was beautiful jewelry and fancy clothes and sacks full of gold. Jack and Clifford loved dressing up like royalty. The day had been great fun, but before long the sun was setting. Jack pulled on Clifford's collar. It was time for them to go home. Clifford shook off Jack's tugging. He was too busy playing fetch with the giants. Ah, she's starting to look a little sad. Jack took off the crown and tried to give the treasure back to the giants, but they insisted she keep it. The giants didn't want Clifford to leave. They said he was the perfect pet for them and promised they would take good care of him. They told Jack she could have all the treasure she could carry if she let Clifford stay with them. But all the treasure in the world wasn't worth as much as her best friend. She and Clifford were a team. 
Then she looked at Clifford, who was happily chewing on his big bone, snuggled in his big doggy bed. Maybe he would like being a normal-sized dog. Living with the giants, he wouldn't have to worry about breaking little things or fitting in the house or eating too much food. Oh, she started to cry. <sighs> Jack told the giants they could keep the treasure. She just wanted what was best for Clifford. She walked sadly back to the beanstalk. But before long, she heard a familiar sound. Woof, woof. It was Clifford. He didn't want to be a normal-sized dog after all. Jack and Clifford headed for the beanstalk as they heard the thunderous creak. The castle door opened. fee fi fo fum where could our dog have gone? The giants cried. They chased after Clifford and Jack. Clifford raced as fast as he could down the winding beanstalk. Jack hung on to him with all of her might. When they got to the bottom, Clifford used his big teeth to bite right through the beanstalk. It tumbled to the ground, leaving the giants high in the sky. Jack gave Clifford a big hug. Her best friend Clifford was more valuable than anything else in the world. Hmm, but they still have a bag here, don't they? Wonder what's in it. But having all the giant's treasure certainly didn't hurt. The end. And that was Clifford and the Beanstalk. I hope you guys were entertained and had a lot of fun listening as much as I always do reading. Have a great day.